Hello, my name is Sean Karakatu, and I was an Ivy Foundation intern and conducted research on glioblastoma multiforme, otherwise known as GBM, this summer in the Barron's lab at TGen. I was first introduced to brain tumor research through an organization called the Students Supporting Brain Tumor Research, and I had the opportunity to tour TGen and learn about GBM and other brain tumors. I learned that the median survival rate for GBM was only 12 to 14 months and became interested in the research TGen was conducting. This summer, I got involved at TGen and conducted research on the sex-based differences in GBM. GBM is the most aggressive and common type of primary brain tumor. Men have about a 60% higher chance of developing a tumor, indicating that differences in the function of estrogen receptor beta, otherwise known as ER beta, a known tumor suppressor may influence tumor progression in GBM. Considering ER beta function, it was hypothesized that 17 beta estradiol and IGF-1 estrogen receptor agonists may promote ER beta function and, and inhibit the proliferation of GBM cells in vitro. 17 beta estradiol and IGF-1 were applied to a patient-derived GBM cell line and MDA-MB453 breast cancer cell line in vitro. The concentrations tested ranged from 2 to 20 micrograms per milliliter of 17 beta estradiol and IGF-1. After 48 hours of exposure, GBM cell proliferation was analyzed through a tripan blue exclusion assay. The results revealed that cell proliferation was inhibited by the estrogen receptor agonists in the patient-derived GBM cells and promoted in the MDA-MB453 cell line, which served as a positive control. In conclusion, this study presents evidence that ER beta function may indeed inhibit GBM proliferation. Considering these results, as the study continues, more steroid hormone receptors will be tested, like the androgen receptor, to see whether it will also cause the inhibition of cell proliferation in GBM and contribute to the sex-based differences. Thank you to TGen, Dr. Angela Baker, my mentor, and all the other members of the Barron's Lab and the Ben and Catherine Ivy Foundation.